Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a run-through of the on-screen keyboard options for the HTC Touch HD. We get a lot of emails from people asking how the input is on the Touch HD, because obviously it doesn't have a keyboard, so it's really important that the on-screen keyboard is really good, or actually there are three of them. And as you'll see in a minute, there's actually more than three of them, of course, um, because you have the Windows Mobile default keyboards that are built in. Now, the keyboards that are built into the Touch HD are the same that you'll find on the HTC Touch Pro and Touch Diamond, but because the screen is quite a bit larger on the Touch HD, it's even easier to type with the on-screen keyboards. So let's walk through those now. I'm going to turn on the device, and I'm going to go into Word Mobile. All right, so let's make a new document. And I'm going to start with the T9 style pad, because I think this is actually the easiest to use. It's the, it's the most suited towards one-handed usability. And let me kind of get it so there's not a glare on the screen. And I'm going to type the quick brown fox jumped over the dog. And as you can see, it's using T9 to guess what I'm saying, and it's doing a really good job. Um, of course, if you practice with this keyboard, if you use it a lot, you're going to become much faster than you just saw there. Um, but this keyboard is the best for one-handed usability. It works very, very well. So let's take a look at the other keyboards here. We have this fade-up menu. And the next thing we're going to go to is the Compact QWERTY keyboard, which is just like a shirt type keyboard on a BlackBerry or a T-Mobile Shadow. So this is actually a full um, QWERTY keyboard, although there are two letters on each key, and it's going to guess what I'm trying to type. So let's do this now. And again, here it is. The accuracy is dead on. I wish the space bar was bigger. In fact, the backspace key is actually bigger than the space bar, which really doesn't make any sense to me on all of the keyboards. So that is the sure type keyboard. And let's take a look at the other HTC keyboard, which is the full QWERTY keyboard. Kind of looks like an iPhone keyboard. In fact, it operates similarly too. If you uh, if you drag your finger along the keyboard, it doesn't register a screen press until you let go of the key. So let's try using this, and as you're going to see, this is actually the most cumbersome keyboard to use of the three that come um, from HTC. As you can see, it's kind of hard to be accurate with this. Although it does do a pretty good job of trying to guess what you're trying to say. You're kind of slowed down because you're unsure at whether you're hitting the right key. But uh, once you become used to this, you'll be able to type a lot faster. Now let's take a look at the other Windows Mobile keyboards built into um, this device. If we go to keyboard, we have the stylus keyboard. That's what, what people are calling it because it's, the keys are very small and you can use your stylus. The keys are spaced close together. Um, which means that you don't have to move your stylus around too much. And then we have the other input methods. So we go into block recognizer, uh, transcriber, letter recognizer. So transcriber is pretty cool and I did a video about this um, a little while ago and it has an on-screen help and what you can do is you can write anywhere on the screen and it'll convert your handwriting to text. So hello world and the conversion is fantastic with Transcriber. So there you have it, all the input methods for the, um, for the HTC Touch HD. Pretty good on-screen keyboards, and I think that um, if you're getting this device, you're going to get used to the keyboards very well. You're going to even actually like them a lot, maybe even more than a hardware keyboard, because um, with the Touch HD, you have the Compact QWERTY and the phone keypad, and these things are, are excellent for one-handed usability.